Hi everyone, this is Trace from Ideas for a Happy Home. Today I wanted to share ideas for your kids with chores. Chores are something that's a part of everyday life. If you have kids, it's something that we need to do in helping them grow and become productive and understanding what it takes to run a house and also understanding that it's a team effort. I have five kids, so chores are something that we have at our home just to keep the house running smoothly. Now, before I get started in sharing what I do right now, I wanted to say that this changes. We do what works for us, and it's usually a season or a time, and then we change to something new. We've had weekly charts, we've had checklists, that has worked in the past, and then it stopped working, and that's okay. It wasn't because it was the wrong system, it was just understanding that systems don't have to last forever. And so for chores um, with our kids, we have non-negotiables. And those are things that just have to be done in the day in our house. And I put those on a chore wheel. Now with the chore wheel, there's a group of chores together. And then um, the children's names are along the outside. Now the three oldest children participate in the chore wheel. And... So for example, I have one of the groups of chores is taking out the compost and taking out the trash and recycle on the correct days is for one child. Another child would be skimming the pool and feeding the dog. And the last one would be setting and clearing the table and emptying the dishwasher. Now the child would be doing those sets of chores for the week and then it rotates to the next set of chores. This works really well for us because I felt as if we were getting um, stuck in a rut of trying to figure out whose turn it was to feed the dog, or I tended to find myself asking the one that didn't complain the most and saying, can you take out the trash? And that's not fair to the child who is willing to help out in always having them do that chore. So creating the chore wheel alleviated that stress and it just worked with getting those things done that have to get done in our day no matter what. Now when it comes to cleaning they do help clean the house. It's more sporadic right now in this season of life and that is me randomly saying okay we need to pick up or we need to clean. I need um, you to do this, you to do this, and you to do that and it's normally about people coming over or the house just seems like it's in shambles and I just need some help. Um, and when it's the shambles one, usually it's toys that just kind of seem to take over. And so I'll tell everyone, pick up 50 things and put them where they belong. And that works really well. Um, or just assigning a task to help have the house be presentable should someone be coming over. And that's how we clean our home. And then our last avenue of chores in our house are projects. And those are usually garden related or clearing the brush or giving the van a good vacuum and, and cleaning. And with those, those are told and sporadic. And also because those are usually a little more intense labor, they will sometimes be followed with a monetary gift but my kids are not given an allowance otherwise. Now, how they can earn money is they can approach us and saying, I would like to earn $5, what can I do? And I give them random things that they can do to earn a dollar here or 50 cents there or $2 based on what I feel is worthy of the chore. And they can decide if they want to take me up on the offer or not. And these are usually things I find so basically so hard for me to get around to doing. And that would be stuff like wiping down the baseboards or cleaning the van out really well, giving the shower walls a good scrubbing, that sort of thing. Also, I'll throw in that category, watching the baby, our one-year-old. And usually that's because I have a project in mind and I want to have the free time without having to keep my eyes on the baby. I'll ask them to babysit for a certain amount of time for pay. So that's how they can earn money. But in this season of life with a 15 year old, 11 year old, an eight year old, a four year old and a one year old, it seems to work for us. Now I should say with the four year old, she's not part of the chore wheel. She's not part of the cleaning. Hers is very sporadic and usually Honestly, at this age, they 
ask to help with chores and I let them. So if I'm cleaning glass, she'll ask to pull the Windex trigger and I'll let her or I'll give her a little rag and she can clean alongside me. Or if she sees me in the kitchen and she wants to help, I will give her something to help me. So it's more introduction of chores and teaching her a task. But she is very close to joining in on the everyday chores of expectations like the other children. I usually start at around four or five and she just turned four. Just a little note. I'm sure you know this already, but just to say it at that age, you really have to focus on a certain specific goal for them to do a a job that you want done. If I were to say pick up the toys, she would randomly maybe pick up a couple and then just stop. And it's not because she doesn't want to, but more because I've given her something overwhelming. And I find it works a lot better if I tell her, pick up all the Paw Patrol or pick up all the Barbie clothes or pick up all the blocks and put them all in the box they go to. And when I ask that, it's not only done well because she's putting things where they belong, but she is able to focus on that set of toys and not feel overwhelmed because there are gobs of toys all over and where do you start? So that's just a little note. Just wanted to share today with what we did for chores, what works for us in this season of life. And I'd love to hear comments below of what you guys do. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos like this. Hit the like button. And until next time, thank you so much for watching Ideas for a Happy Home.